Hello everybody, welcome to another Commander game. Uh, th this time I am playing my Riku deck again, and I'm against an Azuri Claw Progress deck. And he won the die roll. This hand's good enough to keep, it doesn't really do much really, but has lands, has my colors. And there's more lands, just what I did not want to see. So we both pass back playing lands a couple times. So this is an okay draw. It's not ideal, but it's a little bit of ramp at least. I'm kind of thinking at this point in the game that control magic is a good answer to his general. Um, obviously blue and green has plenty of answers to it, but he thinks it's a good way to stall out the game and hopefully give me a shot to catch back up. But luckily he's not doing too much over there either. Yep, just ramping on his side too. And Reclamation Sage, pretty much a dead draw. Just play a land and pass. Oracle of Moldaya, so that's a good one. Let's him get another land right away there. And he gets two lands out that turn. Search for tomorrow comes off suspend. Cast that and grab an island. And bribery. Could be a great draw depending on what he has in his deck. So I was planning I was thinking about control magicing Oracle this turn, but bribery sounds like a much better option. So we run that out there and get a look at his deck. See what his options are. So Cynic Slime, blow up a land or something, doesn't really seem like a huge priority, he's got plenty of mana. A uh, bunch of random junk, duplicate, could get rid of Oracle. Uh, none of these are really useful for me. They're all decent cards, but just, you know, tiny cards you'd find in an Azuri deck. So Hornet Queen's the next big thought. Just help me stall out the game longer, because my deck is really good in late game. It's pretty much the only time this deck is any good. Uh, Exodron, pretty similar. Kedrick Leviathan, it's fine I guess. But, obviously, coming over here for Ulamog. It's hard to pass up an Aldrazi. There might be like, arguably better picks here. I mean, Triskeliana could get and just clear his board. and. Sort of just pass and have control magic up, but I think Ulamog is what most people would choose pretty happily. So I'll grab that and make him answer it. And he has a clever impersonator, so it's not the perfect answer, but it does help him. I can't really attack into it. Well, I mean, I could. We could trade. It's it's an option, but I do have this control magic, so depending on what I draw, the plan is to just control magic it and basically use that as a 4 mana removal spell. Draw Dragonstorm for turn, definitely not casting that anytime soon. So I'll send control magic out, I'll choose to keep the original one, just because if I kept the control magic one, there's a pretty high chance he has enchantment destruction, we saw a lot of it when we briberied him. So I'll swing in there, and he chooses a sack, two creatures and a land, so he really wants to keep his mana base alive. Sucker a tribe elder, he's ramping some more, and he scoops. Couldn't deal with the Ulamog. Yeah, I think if I weren't for that bribery draw, we probably wouldn't be in a good place right now. He's got plenty of ramp out. He's got some good cards coming, and our hand's just pretty much dead against him. I mean, it's definitely a clutch draw. Bribery single-handedly won this game. So yeah, this is a quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.